You folks asked for it. I got the Red Cat Ascent Fusion, and the first thing everybody said was, how does it compare versus the Vanquish Stance? So I went ahead, bought the Stance. Both of these, as they sit, are all but stock. They were running the stock tires, Everything about the chassis design, electronics, everything like that are exactly as it comes from the factory. Nothing has been modified in that way. The only modifications done to both of these trucks is trio wheels on both of them. Stock trucks, except for that, let's see how they compare. If you're new to the channel, welcome. My name is Troy. This is Roadside RC. You'll tend to find me bashing or crawling or drifting or racing, plus doing product review videos and how to's. And this has been highly anticipated, a highly requested comparison here. We're going to be comparing them on the bench at my local hobby store indoor crawler course and on my own personal crawler course here to see just how these trucks compare. Let's start with the bench comparison. Based on all the comments I get on my channel, folks are looking for budget oriented ways to enjoy the hobby. So the first category that we have to have with the bench comparison is price. $399 for the Red Cat Ascent Fusion, $4.99 for the stance. So if you are pinching every penny, $100, literally 25% price increase to get to the stance can be a big deal for you. Category number two is the electronics that we use in the vehicles. Both come with four channel controllers, run on AA batteries. Both are basically winch ready with a, the fourth channel that is a neutral forward and reverse switch on both of them. Both of them do all the basic features that you need. So personal preference here but basically on par the big difference in the electronics comes underneath the hood so when we're talking with the vanquish setup it is a 35 turn brushed crawler system whereas the recent fusion comes with a hobby wing fusion rtr version brushless two in one waterproof clear winner when it comes to the esc and motor and then the servos themselves the red cat comes with a 35 kg that's high voltage capable so from the factory the ESC is actually putting out the higher voltage for the servo to run on very powerful servo no need metal gear waterproof great shape the vanquish is running the vs1 servo 200 ounce inches of force eh, according to online that means it's probably somewhere around a 15 kg servo dramatically less powerful than the one that comes with the red cap when it comes to the electronics, the Red Cat clear winner. If you're into crawling, category number three, overdrive. So with the factory setup and the Fusion, 20% overdrive on the front tires. Factory setup with the Stance, 24% overdrive combined front and rear. Both have overdrive. The 4% difference really doesn't make it make any difference whatsoever. But the fact that they both come from the factory with it is definitely a good thing. I'm a stickler when it comes to the weight of my truck so one of the things that we want to look at red cat as it sits here with these wheels on it 28 12 total weight 61 percent front weight distribution 17 30 38 percent rear 1083 balanced side to side nicely no battery is in it at the moment this is without battery and the vanquish 2600 grams so actually about 200 grams lighter overall which is awesome 58 percent front 42 rear so a little bit more balanced so the vanquish gets the win on total weight but it gets the uh, but the red cat wins in the balance category the fifth item here is all about clearance both of these portal equipped trucks so which is very helpful but how much room does that really give us so on the red cat here we're about 50 millimeters underneath that pumpkin on the vanquish 50 as well dang that's basically dead even the other piece is these hubs as they stick down and the clearance there so on the red cat i get about 35 millimeters on the stance about 35 millimeters so really pretty close you will notice a little bit of a difference in the shape here so maybe that'll end up with a difference uh overall but at the end of the day that measurement is the same as we're looking from the side clearance that we get about 70 millimeters to the bottom of the skid for the red cat and over here on the stance yeah basically almost the same so again although the stance looks like it sits so high because of how the body is cut and how these skids are cut it looks like a monster truck it looks like it's just staggeringly high in the air the red cat's actually not so different when you measure to what is the lowest point bottom of the skid here versus bottom of the center transmission plate now if we measure all the way to the skid it's going to be a way different number here 
we're up to like 95 millimeters, right? Whereas this is 70. So you gain a whole bunch here on the side. But And then the last piece when it comes to the clearance is overhang, right? Shrouding around the tire. Plus, does the bumper stick out past the tire or does the tire stick out first? And on the Vanquish, we do have the bumper behind, so you have more than 90 degrees breakover angle front and rear. The red cat, if I remember right, it's back just a small amount. It's like a millimeter or two with that bumper, but in the back, it is actually past 90 degrees. So the shrouding, all of that kind of piece for both of these trucks is basically equal. You have plenty of clearance around front and rear tires. Obviously, if you are driving these trucks, you are not going to have an issue pulling up to an obstacle and getting a tire on it and being able to then get up and over that obstacle based on body clearance. We're not talking about some super huge scale body with a bumper that sticks inches past the tires front and rear. Both of these are very comp cut, very competition ready bodies right out of the box. One of the biggest differences that you will see from an overall suspension design is three link, so that is two bottom links with a pan hard rod on the Red Cat, a proper four link setup on the front of the Vanquish. Um, folks will say all day long how the four link is dramatically better. Honestly, for me, personal preference, I don't care. I don't care what the link is. I care how the truck performs. But from a fundamental theory standpoint, the four link is supposed to be better, so the Vanquish gets the nod there. While we have these trucks upside down, the next big item that people talk about is durability. What we're seeing so far from all the different groups as we look at the Red Cat, oh, and look at this, I think I actually have it going on right now, is these pins right here that lock in the front axle that go through this U-joint. You hear that pin is sticking through over here on this side. It looks like that pin is either broken, missing, it's about to be missing, something like that. So uh, definitely I need to do some work here to replace these pins. Good news is even when the pin falls out, the truck actually still drives because there's enough interference. Uh, there's enough interference of the dimensions between those uh, hinges that it'll still drive and you won't actually notice for the most part that it's missing. But I actually have one right now that is missing. There is actually a little bit of a hack to this in order to keep this from happening or to fix it once it is done. Be a whole separate video on that, but pretty cheap little fix there. Uh, on the Vanquish, it is these links. So with the Vanquish stance, unlike the carbon kit version, uh, the stance comes with some really small diameter links. These Red Cat links, basically almost like five millimeters in diameter, whereas the Vanquish links are maybe three. So big difference in total strength. The rears come curved, but they don't come this curved. So even from just our early drives, my son had this out yesterday. Uh, this link is fine. It must have taken a tumble because this one is bent more than it should be from the factory. So uh, people are bending and breaking these links on a regular basis. And they are buying the Vanquish uh, upgrade link set, either the ones from the kit or an aftermarket upgrade link set in order to replace these because it appears they are just not quite strong enough. So both trucks have a little bit of a knock against them. Uh, the Red Cat here is a little bit frustrating with this pin that breaks and comes out. There is a pretty cheap little hack to fix it. On the Vanquish side, you are going to spend more money to fix this because the link set is going to be much more expensive than the little pin. But both of them have a couple little design durability hitches. Except for that, no real issues. Speaking of the replacement parts, what kind of part support is available for both of these? Both companies, Vanquish and Red Cat, offer their own in-house upgrade parts. So that is nice, whether it's additional brass, whether it is different links, whether it's a different chassis, or that kind of thing. Both companies have in-house parts support and there are aftermarket companies coming out with parts for it, such as aftermarket carbon fiber chassis to put on here, DSM off-road offers a chassis for the Ascent Fusion, things like that. So there are plenty of aftermarket parts for both of these trucks. Now, there's one category that I typically ignore in this kind of a bench comparison, which is appearance. Um, I believe that appearance is subjective to the owner themselves. Uh, but every time I do one of these, people yell at me when I don't say which one's more scale or which one looks better. 
Ah, I don't know. That's up to you. I think it depends. I think the Red Cat looks very mean, aggressive. I think the, the body design is really nice. The stance definitely looks a little bit, uh, I'm going to say more cartoonish and goofy. Um, this looks a little bit more truckish real, whereas this with the monster truck, big tires and the high clear ground clearance and all that, maybe a little bit goofier looking right out of the box. But that's up to you. That is personal preference. Do you like the color? Do you like the design? Ah, this category you get to call. Let me know down in the comments which one you think looks better. As we end the bench comparison, both trucks have three clear victories when it comes to the different comparisons that we have on the bench and a lot of ties. These trucks are closer matched on the bench than I expected that they would be. Now it's time to get into some driving testing and seeing how they do. First up, we're going to go to Cookville Hobbies, my local hobby store, and test them out on their indoor crawling course. Let's go check that out.
So this is interesting right here. The red cat wouldn't clear it. And that clears. Indoor crawler course there was really interesting. Did not quite come out as I expected as well. So looking at the two trucks, the Vanquish appears to have a higher turning radius or a tighter turning radius, I guess, if you want to say it that way, more steering angle. So I assumed some of the like real tweaking that we had to do around some of the corners, you know, indoor crawler courses were always so technical and so tight. Um, I assumed that steering radius would make a big difference and it just didn't in some places. There's like maybe a couple places where the truck seemed to go around the corner a little bit better, but other places where I was still doing like a three point turn to get around a corner with either truck. So it didn't really seem to matter as much. Um, that one kind of surprised me. So I kind of called that a little bit more neutral or equal between the two trucks. Clearance on the other hand, really showed itself here. So there was a couple different places where the Red Cat, as an example, maybe bellied out just a little bit and the Vanquish either hit the belly but then slid forward because it has that angled center skid. It seemed like it may have hit but it then slid off of it. So bellying out like that with the Red Cat, a little bit worse. The other thing is exactly what we noticed on the front axle, which was there was a clear time in which this beefier kind of front hub here that sticks out more got just caught on the two by four whereas in here on this side it would just clear it and so that extra clearance down here made a noticeable difference on the vanquish and so between that the high this high side skids here um and then that angled angled bottom skid Vanquish definitely takes the win in the clearance on the indoor comp course. Both of these trucks, very sticky tires. Uh, and so I was surprised to see at the beginning of the course where we're going up kind of a little bit of a dusty wood, both of them noticeable traction issues. 
it seemed like the Vanquish had a little bit easier time getting up it. So maybe the Vanquish tires are just that little bit better than the ones on the Red Cat. Uh, so maybe we'll give the nod to the Vanquish there for driving around that piece. But um, both of them, traction issues, maybe we do need to investigate on both of these uh, some tire upgrades eventually. But at the end of the day, the odd thing was about it. When it came to conquering all of the obstacles on the track, uh, the Red Cat kind of just did better. I, I think there's two different places where this really sticks out in my mind. Um, so the Red Cat coming up to, we went up the hill and then there was that sharp right hand corner trying to get up onto that really steep staircase. Uh, the Red Cat, I felt like I had a lot more control being able to get up into that. Yes, neither one of them conquered that staircase without help, but the red cat was a lot more controllable and i felt a lot more confident placing the truck where i wanted to uh, and then the second piece was the very last obstacle this like stair steppy thing that we had to go up the red cat with enough power could actually bounce up and over and i was eventually did get up and over that last step the vanquish literally never made it it literally i sat there for a while and it never made it up it. They both did better than I expected um, on the big wood uh, log like side hill piece. Uh, they both did better on a lot of the obstacles compared to what I expected them to do. But at the end of the day, the Red Cat actually did it. It may have struggled a little bit on, on some clearance and some issues like that. But at the end of the day, it actually got over all of the things. And that's really the, and, and no matter how you slice it, that's what we're here to do. Whereas the stance did not quite get there. So, oh, both of the trucks really, really good. The stance, ah, it's really hard to call this, but the fact that the stance never made it up that last obstacle really makes it difficult for me to give it the nod versus the Red Cat that actually did make it. I've already done a full test of both of these trucks on my personal uh, crawler course here at the house. Both of them basically like monster trucked over a majority of my obstacles with no issues. I can leave a link down to those full videos so you can see more about them. I'll leave a link down in the video description to both of those. Only noticeable thing that really came out of that is the impossible wall that it's at the end of my whole crawler course. The fusion went up it, the vanquish stance did not. And so um, stock versus stock, absolutely bone stock, both of them. Went up it, did not go up it. So clearly outside crawler course, a fusion still gets a little bit of a nod there. But I want to do two things here in the garage. I want to do an incline test. So how high can the crawlers actually climb in a controlled surface? So on a board that I have here. And then I also want to do a turning radius. I want to prove out this whole thing with the stance and how much better turning radius it really does have. So how I typically do this, set the truck up next to the tire on my Chevelle, pull up to the bottom tire being right at the center, turn all the way one direction, and see how far it takes to come around. Measuring there, that is 38 inches. Exact same thing with the stance, pull up here, Hard cut. <laughs> oh, that's not what I expected. Look at that. Yep. The fusion wins by like a quarter of an inch. So everybody likes to say about how good a steering angle the stance has with these F10 axles. Eh, maybe not. Maybe it's actually not as good as the Red Cat Ascent Fusion, or it's basically the same. How about that? Next is the incline angle. This is starting at 50 degrees. now just above just just below 55 degrees I'm gonna guess 53 54 something like that 
Um, I'm going to be surprised if either truck makes it up based on how they struggled with the first one. give the incline just an ever so slight advantage to the vanquish uh it just had it got up the 50 degrees just a little bit easier than the red cat all right the last test that we're going to do here take the incline gauge set it here on the front and we're going to test the side hill of the truck so we're going to let the tires sit right down on the workbench and we're going to just keep going until the truck tips that's 45 degrees that's 50 degrees 55 oh there it goes there it goes oh just below 60 degrees so let's call that about 57 degrees is when it tips red cat doing the exact same thing that is 50 degrees 55 nice and stable that's 60 oh it's so close i have to give the nod to the red cat by like a slimmest of margin i'm going to be absolutely honest with you folks i expected this to be a little bit more clear than it is i expected the vanquish to pull out in the lead when it came to some performance metrics and then to try to really have a tough conversation of does it pull out enough to justify the extra hundred dollars? But after so many now rounds of testing, this is tougher than I thought it was going to be. When we looked at the bench comparison, they came out as three versus three with three wins in the red cat column for the price, for the electronics, for the front and rear weight distribution. The stance, however, had lower total weight. It also had um, more clearance around the skid and it had a better like core suspension design. But the truth is they tied on more categories than either one of them won independently and outright. When I took it to my indoor crawler course, the Vanquish really showed some better clearance. It really showed some better traction, but at the end of the day, the Red Cat got over more obstacles then the than the vanquish did that's a tough one and now here in the garage doing just some additional testing turning radius the red cat wins but it wins by like a half inch it wins by basically nothing the incline the vanquish wins but by basically nothing the side hilling the red cat wins by basically nothing so these two trucks are so staggeringly even out of the box remember these things are out of the box except for some different trio wheels put on each one of them so out of the box like it's so absolutely close that honestly i think at the end of the day it's probably just got to be up to your preference i asked you earlier to vote down below as to which one you think looks better i'll be very curious to see how that tally comes out at the end of the day but like ugh. You can't hardly go wrong with either one of these trucks. That's probably the bottom line, is at the end of the day, both of these trucks are really, really good contenders. So I have one more test that I think could be very interesting. I did this whole thing with them using their own tires. And so, and of course, with crawling and any other form of motorsports, tires make such a huge difference. Is it worth it for me to go back through a lot of this work with the exact same tire on both trucks? Because if I do that, it's going to take any tire difference out of it, put the exact same tire, maybe some like kind of poor performing ones on both trucks. And then that way, head to head, we can see what the difference really is when it comes to the actual core chassis design and the mechanics and the performance of each one with the exact same tire, which one comes out ahead. If you're curious, I'm curious. If you're curious also, let me know down in the comments and maybe I will actually find some time to go do this test head to head, same tires and see what the result is at the end of the day. So I hope this has been interesting for you. I am glad. Thank you to the audience for actually pushing me to go do this because I didn't know if I was going to or not, but both of these trucks 
Both of those trucks, staggeringly, staggeringly good. If you're curious, again, I'm gonna leave a link down in the video description to where I tested both of these more independently, more thoroughly, straight out of the box, so you can see some of the driving on my crawler course as an example for yourself. Thank you for watching, goodbye.